As it is right now, officials have been making their way in uh, to the venue, the tent just behind, just in front of me, um, pardon me. And what we also know currently is that while these temperatures are scorching, Rafia, this has not deterred some of the ANC supporters, members and of course officials to making their way to the venue. But, you know, the person joining me right now is the ambassador of Palestine. So you'd remember during some of the briefings that the ANC has always um, had at Lutuli House, they've always placed the solidarity um, for Palestine and of course the affairs of the country that, that have affected some of the people there and this will be quite an interesting interview as we speak to the ambassador. Ambassador, thank you very much for joining me. I know it's hot and you've been standing here with us and apologies for that. Um, how do you feel today and what is, what is the significance of being here today? Well, first of all, we would like to congratulate ANC in the 110th anniversary and we would like to wish them a prosperous uh, uh, year to come. We know that many challenges have been facing the ANC lately, especially in the local elections. That's why we wish them uh, unity, we wish them more prosperity, we wish them uh, more work so that uh, they can uh, um, uh, grow and they can fly high again, as always. Because we Palestinians do believe that a strong ANC is a strong Palestine and strong solidarity and strong international solidarity uh, as well. We share, we share with the South Africans and with the ANC in particular a long chapter of history for struggle against oppression, aggression and apartheid. And we are counting on the ANC leadership and uh, on the people of South Africa to more uh, support and solidarity with the Palestinian people in bringing the Israeli apartheid down, exactly as you were able to, brought the, to bring the uh, white apartheid in South Africa. When you speak about more support and working together as well, but remember that Miss South Africa just recently represented the country in Israel while we've been also pledging solidarity for Palestine. Is that something that you thought was a bit sour that could have been handled properly? Yes, of course. South Africa was always showing support uh, in Palestine. Uh, His Excellency President Ramaphosa announced in different uh, occasions that uh, Israel is now can be classified as an apartheid state. And this is something uh, very crucial and very important for Palestinian people. And it it echoed very well on international platforms. Of course, the ANC uh, support is a crucial element in our uh, support and it's a crucial element also of uh, generating international solidarity and support uh, regionally and internationally.